Come on, Jeff. I'm ready. <laughs> We are, make no secret of the fact that we are determined to head right to the top of medicine. That's what we're doing. This is a, a, a beautiful example of it. I saw a machine that I'd seen seven or eight years ago in a lab building in Germany at Siemens, which was now a reality. And when somebody explained to me how it was going to be used, what more can you say? We had this vision of what we thought the future of the operating room should be and what the future of surgery should be. And having an administration that was supportive of this, this future vision, we were able to, with a lot of people's help, create these rooms, which are not only operating rooms that have the state of the art of technology, but operating rooms of the future where we're going to actually change what surgery is. We're the first hospital in the country to have two of these units in the operating room. Just the whole concept of what is surgery or what is needed to treat diseases is changing. We're going to redefine what a surgical specialist is even because a surgical specialist now has to be um, an information technology expert. They have to be a radiologist, endoscopist, they have to be able to do minimally invasive surgery. They got to be able to do conventional surgery. This revolution is really this merging of intervention with imaging. Imaging equipment that allows us to be better surgeons and allows us to be minimally invasive surgeons. In this room, at least 12 different image devices so that you can have multiple inputs. It starts with the electronic medical record. Everyone has access to it. The surgeon has access to it. The anesthesiologist has access to it. The nursing team has access to it. We can communicate with the pathologist upstairs. We have the images from the endoscope, from the microscope. Everything can be viewed at by the clinicians and the people that are taking care of the patient so we can get everyone's feedback instantaneously. We're optimizing the patient's care by putting in the hands of the surgeons every conceivable piece of information in the room, in the room. helping the uh, physician exactly. do the best job right. for the and patient. It, and it's not just the surgeon, it's the nursing team, it's the anesthesiologist, it's the whole team. If you notice attention to detail, where the nurse's station over there is, that desk faces the patient. In all our existing operating rooms, and in most operating rooms around the country, the nurses' desks and the computers are facing the wall. That certainly adds to the patient safety. You can always accomplish much more when you bring many minds from different disciplines together. I think that's really the, uh, the exciting thing about being an institution like New York Presbyterian. I mean, we couldn't have done this without the help of donors like the Helmsley Foundation to mobilize the kinds of resources to, to build this kind of environment. Basically what this machine can do is if you take fluoroscopy and spin it around the patient, you get a three-dimensional image. You can see blood vessels in three dimensions, you can see solid tumors in three dimensions, you can see bone if you're putting in instrumentation and hardware. By that spinning motion, you can also create cross-sectional images. What you can start to do now is you can start to say, I'm going to operate on the intestine. This machine will give you simultaneously the intraluminal or inside channel picture, and I'm going to be able to see outside at the same time. And this has the capability that we can overlay those images. So you can start to do what I was saying, Jerry. Think about intestinal surgery where the patient doesn't even have to go to sleep. The average patient nowadays is older, more frail, has more serious accompanying diseases, and so the possibility to eradicate their problem, minimize hospital stay, minimize pain, that's, you know, that's what it's all about, man. We really want to push the envelope a little bit, and when we start doing that, we don't know where we're going to be able to go with this, and I think that's really the excitement. The excitement is, is redefining uh, what we're going to be able to do or from what the standard of what surgery is now so that with this we can redefine ourselves and really change the way things are done. And to me what it represents, not the state of the art, we're ahead of the state of the art.